So what is product management? Product management is an important business role, typically inside a tech company. The product manager is often considered to be the CEO of the product and is in charge of the product management lifecycle. This means that you're responsible for the strategy, roadmap, and feature definition of the product. In addition, you'll also be responsible for maintaining the product post-launch and eventually deciding whether to sunset or evolve the product. We'll cover the main parts of the product management lifecycle in depth in one of the later sections of this course. The role of product management spans many activities, ranging from strategic to tactical, and at best provides cross-functional leadership, bridging gaps in the company between different teams. Teams like engineering, design, marketing, sales, and even customer support. A product manager is not a project manager. This is a common point of confusion for a lot of people. A product manager typically defines the what are we building? While the project manager defines the when is it going to get done and on budget. In other words, a product manager is in charge of what the product will do, while the project manager is in charge of the process of building the product. A product manager is also not the boss. Since you don't have any direct reports, you have to be able to lead without authority. There are many different flavors of product managers. Here are three common types. The first type is the user experience focused product manager. Now these guys often have an interest and skill set in user experience design. I'm that type. So when I lead a product, I like to get my hands dirty and actually create the wireframes of the user interface before passing it on to a visual designer. The second type is the technical oriented product manager. Now these guys often have a technical background like a computer science degree or computer engineering. And they like to think about how different software services can plug into their product. And they typically design tech specs to make sure that the API has the right data and services needed to support the different things that get plugged in. I had a product management colleague at Ticketmaster whose day-to-day -day involved making sure that the API layer had the right responses to support all the different mobile apps that was plugged into it. The third type is the analytics-driven product manager. These guys often have a math or statistics background, and they spent their whole time in the world of analytics. So they'll conduct things like A-B test to maximize existing features, and they'll use existing data to recommend new features. Now it's not required to specialize in a certain area since the product manager is a jack of all trades role, but most people tend to specialize based on their strength and their interests. So how do you become a product manager? There are three ways. The first way is to take specialized product management training. This is the fastest path. This is where people take online courses like this one that you're taking or attend a high-tech trade school specializing in product management. This can be a great option because it's at a fraction of the cost that you typically spend in an MBA program. And everything that you learn is directly applicable to the job. So this will dramatically increase your chances of landing that first product management gig. The second path is the MBA route. Now people typically gather three to five years of professional experience, get into an MBA school, and eventually land in a junior level product management job. Now the benefit of the MBA path is they tend to do a great job building a person's product vision and leadership skills. But the trade-off for this path is that an MBA program can be extremely expensive, costing upwards of hundreds of thousands of dollars. And it doesn't typically prepare you well enough to do the executional part of product management. To give you an example, one of my friends who graduated from Harvard Business School never got a chance to do things like write user stories or create wireframes 
so he felt ill-prepared, even though he attended one of the best business schools in the world. The third path is where you stumble your way into a product management role and build the skills and experience learning on the job. This is by far the slowest path. And this is the path that I took when I got started in product management because there was no specialized training. So I had the opportunity to design NASA's first iPhone app because I came up with a vision and I was able to convince the higher ups to give me resources and time. Now the trade-off for this path is the opportunities to get into a product role with no experience is extremely rare. You pretty much have to work for a startup or start your own company to have the freedom to focus solely on product.